In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love, and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, to the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Today is the 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time. We also celebrate Sunday for cultures. Our priest presider is the Reverend Father Mario Sobdewanite of the Society of St. Paul. Superior of the Divine Master Retreat House in Ariccia, Italy, and Spiritual Director of the Acts Catholic Prayer Community. Let us join the Acts Minstrels in singing the entrance hymn. In our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dito po ngayon sa Italy, sa Roma, kami po'y nilalamig na kaya nag-react po ang uh, ating uh, katawan dahil sa pagpapago. But we come together because we recognize that God remains to be for all of us one who truly cares as a father and who desires that all of us to serve. Sa mga pagkakataon, di natin nakita na ang katakilaan para sa Kanya ay sa pagsilbi. We ask the Lord's forgiveness. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned 
in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Isaiah's oracle described the servant of the Lord who justifies the people through his suffering. The first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord was pleased to cross him in infirmity. If he gives his life as an offering for sin, he shall see his descendants in a long life, and the will of the Lord shall be accomplished through him. Because of his affliction, he shall see the light in fullness of days. Through his suffering, my servant shall justify many, and their guilt he shall bear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. All the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. The eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness. To deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Our soul waits for the Lord. Who is our help and our shield? May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Jesus was like us in all things except sin. He knows our temptations and our weaknesses. Let us approach him with confidence. The second reading. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has similarly been tested in every way, yet without sin. So let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and to find grace for timely help. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us give honor to the Holy Gospel.
the Son of Man came to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to Jesus and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. He replied, What do you wish me to do for you? They answered him, Grant that in your glory we may sit one at your right and the other at your left. Jesus said to them, you do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the cup that I drink or be baptized with the baptism with which I am baptized? They said to him, we can. Jesus said to them, the cup that I drink, you will drink. And with the baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit at my right hand or at my left is not mine to give but it is for those to whom it has been prepared. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at James and John. Jesus summoned them and said to them, You know that those who are recognized as rulers over the Gentiles lord it over them, and the great ones make their authority over them felt. But it, is not, it shall not be so among you, Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you will be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you will be the slave of all. For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Si Marco ang sinasabing unang sumulat ng mga ebanghelyo, ang nauna. And boy, today, he presents to us exactly as they were, the disciples and the apostles of Jesus. Walang takip-takip, pinakita kung ano talaga sila. We are talking of the third prophecy of Jesus that is going to Jerusalem to face a terrible death the rejection of the elders, the torture, the crucifixion, and that cruel death as a criminal. Why? Because he's giving up his life in ransom for many. Buhay na handang magbigay at handang magbigay ng todo, todo. Akala natin after three years na sila itinuruan, at least the apostles should have picked up what was important sa buhay ni Kristo, kung ano yung essential sa kanya, what drives him to go on. Obvious, hindi na gets talaga, hindi na kuha. Pakinggan nyo na lamang ang salita nitong dalawang magkakapatid, si, si, uh, si James at si John. Kung gusto ko lang ibalikan, ano? ang sabi, we want you to do what we want you to do for us. Aba, ibang klase, demanding eka nga. And so the Lord, pinagbigyan, ask them, what do you want? Ay gusto namin, yung seat at your right hand and at your left, when you become the glorious Messiah, amin po yun. We are shocked by the disciples, but it is obvious that that always been a problem of all of us human beings. Ang desire ng dalawang magkakapatid ay, Mauna sila, makaisa, makapwesto na, makalamang na doon sa sampu pang iba. At pinakita din sa atin ni Marco na ang reaksyon ng sampu is galit. Bakit? Feeling nila na isahan sila. Feeling nila na unahan sila. Feeling nila na walang sila ng pwesto. Feeling nila sila po ay na lamangan nung dalawa. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, today Jesus has to teach us one very important thing that every Christian should know and every leader should know. 
that for him, para sa kanya, in the Christian family, Jesus proposes that the only competition should be at the rule of life is not that you lord it over the others, but that you serve others, even to the point of dying for others. Kaya ang invitation niya, John, kay John and James, are you willing to be baptized with the same baptism I'm going through? This was, he was talking about the pain and suffering that they go to, had to go through in service of others. Are you willing to drink from the chalice? Chalice yun, ibig sabihin, mapait. The same chalice that he wanted his father to take away from him in the Garden of Gethsemane. Ang sagot ng dalawang hindi nakaintindi ay, oh naman. But they wanted power and authority. They wanted to be on top. They wanted to be considered the first. Mga kapatid, uulitin ko. Jesus presents himself to us as the one who is slave of all. Pakinggan niyo to, ang ganda-ganda kasi nito nabasa ko. John wanted Jesus to do according to their will. Instead of saying, as Jesus did in the Garden of Gethsemane, Thy will be done. You know what is the greatest definition of God? What is the best description of God? Kasi kadalasan sa dasal natin, we say, Eternal Father, Omnipotent, Powerful, Almighty, All-Knowing, Creator of all. Jesus says, I give an image of this, my Father. Look at me. And he presents himself as, I have come not to be served, but to serve and to give my life as a ransom for many. Ang pinakikilala sa atin is a God who continuously desires to go down to reach out to us, who makes himself available, who comes to us at our moments of need, who is a servant, who comes to give life. Instead, the disciples wanted what they want. They wanted the God who will do what they want. They wanted the God who will give in to their desires. They wanted the God to fulfill and realize their dreams. Instead, Jesus tells us today, the one best prayer is, Thy will be done. Today, my dear friends, brothers and sisters, ang ganda nung lesson natin, as we are preparing to elect leaders sa ating bayan. Jesus differentiates one big thing. Authority. Authority is not the desire for power. Real authority is given so that you may have in your heart the desire for service. Power ba ang hangad mo? O service? Kaya kan gusto magkaroon ng authority. Ito ba'y power over others o power for others? Kasi ang sinasabi ni Lord, huwag kayong maging katulad ng mga pariseyo. There are rulers in our land who pag sila ay naging leader o pinuno, they want others to feel ruler kami, may authority kami. There is a difference pala between the word authoritarian and authoritative i-explain ni Father Mario kasi English po yun pero simple lang po yun pag ang isang pinuno who claims authority becomes authoritarian mamimwersa yan mangti-threat yan dadaanin yan sa lakas paaparamdam sa inyo ang kanyang lakas he will try to gain and conquer kahit anong pamamaraan at pag nagalit nyo, magre-revenge yan. Parurusahan kayo, even willing to kill. One who is authoritarian wants obedience from people through force, through fear. Ang layo niyan sa isang who is authoritative. Anong ibig sabihin? Ito yung tao na hindi nang i-impose. In fact, he gains the respect, the esteem, a recognition na, uy, talagang ikaw'y naadyan, matapas maging leader ka. One who does not command, 
Why? Because kitang-kita ng lahat na yung kanyang sinasabi nakikita sa buhay na ang kanyang hangad ay hindi more power kundi nang siya'y makapagsilbi. Minsan, nasabi na natin, you know what's a true leader? Kasi yung faith na leader inspires fear. It inspires others to do. Eh, ginawa ng leader, kalukuhan, eh, di, ganun din natin. A true great leader inspires greatness. A true leader who is in power in powers. Alam mo, may power ka. You make others feel that they are also powerful. Alam mo that leader ka, as you do your things, they are inspired to copy you. Greatness inspires greatness. Power empowers others. Not because of fear, not because of submission, not because of takot. When they see a leader willing to sacrifice himself for others, they will be willing to sacrifice too for the sake of the country. Pag ang isang tao is driven simply with ambition, with unstoppable desire to be the first, sometimes to be the only, when his one desire is to conquer and obtain power and wealth, kapatid, walang katapusan niya. Uulitin ko, Jesus tells us today, that the real competition that there should be in all Christian communities is the competition to serve. I have come not to be served, but to serve. We look at Jesus in that one last great moment during the Last Supper when he showed us what true authority is. When he becomes authoritative, ka-respe-respeto, kagalang-galang, dapat tingila, tingalain, dapat nagiging example when he wrapped himself with towel, took basin and water, and begins to do the one thing which is done by the lowest of all slaves, wash the feet of his disciples. Totoo ang isang master na authoritarian is feared but not a servant. The master demands and exacts service. The servant obliges himself to serve. My dear friends, marami ngayon ang gustong maiboto sa atin kasi naghangad sila ng kapangyarihan o maupo sa pwesto ng kapangyarihan. Tanungin niyo nga sarili niyo bago kayo bumoto, ito ba handang mag-alay ng sarili para sa bayan? Ito ba'y nakakaunawa na yung authority ay kami ang nagbibigay? But authority, when it is taken as power and not as service, becomes a danger to all of us and to everyone. Sabi nga ni Martin Luther King, alam niyo po, life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Ganda na na. Life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Si St. Therese of the Child Jesus would even explain to us, hindi mahalaga yung posisyon. Ang mahalaga kung paano mo hinahawakan ang posisyon. We search for leaders who are not simply people with authority, but People who are authoritative, ibig sabihin, nakikita mo na may respeto sa posisyon. Kasi ang leader, presidente, prime minister, o sino man, o ito may congressman, senador, aalis yan, lilipas yan. But the position does not. Kaya dapat, ang isang nakaupuron, may respeto din sa kanyang posisyon. I'll show you one good leader. Kapatid, siya po ay former chemist, isang physicist. For nine straight years, the Forbes magazine declared this woman the most powerful woman in the world. Nine straight years. Kapatid, 
four terms. Sinasabi nila, pwedeng mag four term of a country that is the most economically stable in the whole of Europe. She became the Chancellor of Germany. And now that she has decided enough with politics, the whole world looks at her as a woman who truly is an authoritative leader. Saan galing yun? Yung respetong ito? Saan galing yung pagtitingala sa kanya? Saan galing yung esteem na ibinibigay sa kanya? Ito, bibigay ko sa inyo. Because of a deep personal integrity in a life lived with principle. Because of a modest life. Maniwala ka bang siya ang nagluluto pa para sa kanilang mag-asawa? Wala ko silang katulong sa bakit. Kapatid, you're talking of the Chancellor of Germany. Nakatira ba siya sa palasyo? Hindi. Hindi siya umalis doon sa apartment ng kanil- na nilang mag-asawa. For 12 years that she was Chancellor, she never left that apartment. At doon sa bahay na yon, they grow their own vegetable, they shop at the ordinary supermarket nearby. He washes the, she washes the dishes, kasama ng kanyang husband, who washes the laundry. She had no interest in cars, jewelry, or handbags, or shoes. Tabi nga nila, yung iba sa mga damit niya, 15 years na namin nakikita pa, balik-balik lang. She was not into glamour because she is for 12 years Chancellor of Germany. Why was he given the respect? Ito pang maganda ha. Hindi naman na simple yung buhay niya. Ayaw na ng glamour. Hindi niya kailangan ng katulong sa bahay. Nanatili siya sa kanyang apartment na kanila. But because he also has a husband na wala rin pakialam sa glamour. Nako, hindi lang naman sa ano, diretsa na. Kung sa Pilipinas yan, pag naapo na sa kangyarihan, lahat ng kamag-anak taking advantage na. And they will be living a life that is definitely not going to be theirs kung hindi sila pumasok sa politika. The husband, every time nagta-travel ang kanyang asawa na pra-chancellor ng, ng, ng Germany, Hindi siya sumasabay. Nag-take siya ng commercial flights. He does not like to be in the limelight as well. Hindi ka tulad sa atin. Pag si tatay, si nanay, si kapatid, naging politika, lahat na, politika na. Everybody wants to be in the limelight. Ito pang maganda. Why did she gain so much respect? Because when she said, enough, pwede pa siyang manalo, sinasabi ng lahat eh. In fact, she, she had she overlasted lahat ng napakaraming leaders na kilala. She decided, tama na, it's time to let go. O may mga ganun ba sa atin na kayang let go? Kapatid, brothers and sisters, we will soon be choosing our leaders. Suriin yung mabuti. Eh ito bang mga ito'y hangad ang kapangyarihan? o hangad ang magsilbi sa bayan. Because in the end, kung ang mga binoto natin bano, ang mga binoto natin hindi maayos, ang mga binoto natin idiot sabi nga ng iba, oh, we are well represented. Kasalanan natin. Kasalanan natin. Sapagat ako po'y nakatira sa Italy, bibigay ko po sa inyo ang isa pa. Dito sa Italy, meron po silang president na para siyang uh, Queen of England, na siya ang nag, na, parang authority. Pero ang tunay na nagpapatakbo is the Prime Minister. Ang bago pong Prime Minister ng Italy ay si Mario Draghi. Isang economist, isang banker, isang academician, at isa pong uh, taong civil servant. Alam niyo mga kapatid, Ito ha, pakinggan niya yung mga namumuno sa bayan natin. Dati po siyang president ng European Central Bank at taas ng pwesto. Kaya po siya inimbita na maging prime minister ay sapagat pag siya ay nagsalita sa harapan ng kanyang mga colleagues in Europe, pinakikinggan po. Bakit? Sobrang self-dignity. A very solid reputation does not talk much, pero pag nagsalita, pinakikinggan. 
Alam yung ginawa niya to make sure na everybody understands na hindi habol pera. Nag-sign po siya na ako po tatanggapin ko ito hindi bilang privilege kundi bilang serbisyo. I will be Prime Minister of Italy hoping na maiayos ko po ang mga dapat ayusin. Isa lang ang condition ko. Wala akong salary. Kapatid bongga. Hanggang sa ngayon, hindi po siya tumatanggap ng salary because what he said is this is a gift and a service. Hindi ko naman kailangan kung simple lang naman ang buhay ko. Zero remuneration. Ayaw niyang kumita, ayaw niyang itik advantage, ayaw niyang masabi na dahil pinasok niya to, ay umaman siya at ang kanyang pamilya. But dear friends, may isinulat po siyang aklat. Aklat na dapat tayo kung lahat ay magkaroon. Sino man sa atin ang nagnanais magdita. Transparency. Yung hindi ka takot. Hindi ka nang bablak kung may mga investigation. Wala kang ikinakatakot. Bakit? Transparent ka. Hirap maganap ng leader. Ano? But in the end, Jesus presents to us the basic of a real leader. He is given authority not to have power over others, but to have power for others. His life is not to search for authority for itself. His life actually is service. Pagdasal po natin ang ating bayan. Pagdasal po natin na lahat ng mga pinuno na sana maunawaan nila. That in our Christian community, the only true competition is the competition to be of service. Amen. We now proclaim, I believe in one God. Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again in the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With humility and trust, O Lord, we confidently approach you and ask you to hear our prayers. As we all say, loving Father, listen to our prayers. Loving Father, listen to our prayer. May Pope Francis, our bishop, the clergy, and all who exercise authority in the church, foster kindness to sustain them in their call to humble service. We pray. Loving Father, Loving listen Father, to our listen. prayer. May all who hold public office promote unity, to bring peace and reconciliation in our land that has witnessed social, cultural, religious, and moral upheavals. We pray. Loving Father, listen to our prayer. May the spirit of fortitude encourage all frontliners who are fighting COVID-19 as they minister to those who are suffering. We pray. Loving Father, listen to our prayer. May we, as brothers and sisters in Christ, show compassion and kindness to all, especially to those who are gravely affected 
by the pandemic. We pray. Loving Father, listen to our prayer. May the Almighty Father continue to protect our viewers, the homebound and their families, and through the powerful intercession of our Blessed Mother, grant all intentions and requests offered through this Mass. We pray. Loving Father, listen to our prayer. We ask you, O Lord, to show your mercy and compassion to our sick brothers and sisters and to bring light to our beloved dead. We pray. Loving Father, listen to our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Loving Father, listen to our prayer. Father, you are gracious and merciful to all. Hear us as we call upon you today. Do not look on the wrong we have done, but in your mercy, look on our humble and pleading hearts as we ask to Christ our Lord. Amen. acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Grant us to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Holy Spirit, you gather them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ in the temple of the Holy Spirit, might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as that church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and we joy, we proclaim.
Anointed, Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the twofold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the blood and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, with our cardinals and bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus tells us one beautiful prayer to always declare at the end of every prayer. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We pray that this will be accomplished in our lives, that this kingdom of service and love may truly reign. We pray the Our Father.
Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not, Lord, in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Ganda ng sinabi ni Martin Luther King, no? The one urgent and persistent question we must always ask is, are we doing something for somebody? In the end, it will give us true joy. In the end, that will be our source of peace. We share that peace with one another. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us together pray this prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Quite to Lord, we pray that befitting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what to give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Naghanap po ang mundo ng mga tunay na leader na hindi lamang namamayagpag sa kanilang authority, kundi alam na ang authority niyan, ang power na yan, ay para sila'y makapagsilbi. Today we pray to the Lord for real leaders na nahubog sa kanyang puso, ng isang pusong handang mag-alay ng sarili, one that is truly loving and is willing to give all. Lord, sa aming pong paglapit sa inyo, dahil sa kahirapan na dinala ng pandemic, padalyan niyo po kami ng mga tunay na pinuno sa simbahan, sa gobyerno, sa lahat, kung saan makita po nila na ang tunay na kompetisyon is in their desire to compete, to be of greater service. Nahangari nila, hindi lamang yung magiging authoritarian, hindi mahangari nilang magkaroon ng authoritativeness, respetong bigay ng iba, pagtingin at pagtingala, sapagkat nakikita nila ang mga pusong handa na maging alagad para sa iba. We pray for all of those today who are losing hope because of the pandemic. Yung mga nawalan po ng mga minamahal sa buhay, yung mga may sakit po, Lord, touch them with your healing love. Because for you, there is nothing that is impossible. But more than that, touch all of our hearts that we may truly seek to be servants for others. We pray for all of those who have sent their intentions in this mass. Grant them the desires of their hearts. We pray for all of those who are cooperating and are helping generosity so that this ministry be made, may spread to everyone. Bless us, Lord, to give us a heart that is like yours. This is our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God come upon you and remain with you always. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Tulungan niyo po kaming ma-share, makapag-subscribe po kayo, at masabi sa iba na mayroon po tayong ganitong ministry, which we will continue kahit na po ako'y uwi sa November 4 sa Maynila. Gagawa po tayo ng paraan, pati po sa ating simbang gabi. Thank you po pala sa lahat ng tumutulong. Si Sister Marlene na nagbasa po, siya din po ang nagdala na napakaganda na ating mga bulaklak. And we thank her for this. Ingat po kayo. Go in the peace and love of the Lord. Thanks be to God.